the sea has so many secrets. Around 75% of the world's oceans are unmapped. There's so much we don't know, which means there's so much for us to learn. So this research is all about understanding the hazards that are, our communities on the East Australian coast are exposed to. And one of those hazards is tsunami. And these are tsunami that are generated by large underwater landslides that are just offshore of our East Australian coastline. So the mission is to understand whether or not these large underwater landslides have the potential to form tsunami, and if they do, to find out how hazardous those tsunami would be for our communities along the East Australian coast. The opportunity to go on a research vessel like the CSIRO Research Vessel Investigator is a huge opportunity for our students. It has really state-of-the-art technology for things like our geophysical mapping, so mapping the seafloor and mapping beneath the seafloor. Those techniques are state-of-the-art and the quality of the data that we got out of those instruments was just phenomenal. Not many students in my position get to spend five, six weeks at sea with their supervisors, with CSIRO staff, with a ship crew, and actually getting to see how a world-class research vessel operates and is run and how to take that data, take those samples and see that firsthand and in action and then actually know that I'm going to get to use some of that for my research is super exciting and it's definitely a once in a lifetime. The mapping of the sea floor and the sub bottom profile and the seismic data we're collecting, you know, it kind of like blows your mind and actually being able to learn about it. You never know as much as you think you know. There's always so much more to learn, which is, you know, such an exciting thing to be a part of. It's great to be able to be on a vessel like that with these students and explain to them how we're going about doing this research project and talking about the science that we're doing as we are doing it in real time. I grew up surfing, I grew up around the beach. Growing up in a family that's very um, ocean, coastal orientated, it was definitely a draw to me to do science that got to incorporate that love of the ocean. If I can spend my life being in the ocean, learning about it and studying it, um, I'll be happy. To be a part of the future generation of science and women in STEM, We've had some really great role models to look up to, especially on this voyage, and it's really sparked that excitement in a lot of us. Absolutely made friends for life, you know, made friends for life from Newcastle, from Sydney, as well as some of the ship crew and CSIRO crew. Yeah, no, it was such a great opportunity. They were just an incredible bunch of scientists and they really worked as scientists on this voyage. They really stepped up, they made that leap from student to scientist. I love science, I am a curious person. I wanna know what's happening and how things are working. So being able to contribute to this project that's helping protect our coastal communities is an incredible experience that I've been able to have as being part of the team at the University of Newcastle. What we're doing here is frontier science. It's incredibly exciting to be a part of and it's incredibly exciting to be able to take the next generation of scientists along with us on this voyage.